Chandra Shikhar Azad, T. N. D., born Chandrasekhar Tiwari, first name also commonly spelt Chandrasekhar and Chandrasekhar, 23 July 1906 – 27 February 1931, popularly known as by his self-taken name Azad, the Free, was an Indian revolutionary who reorganized the Hindustan Republican Association under its new name of Hindustan Socialist Republican Army HSRA after the death of its founder, Ram Prasad Bismil, and three other prominent party leaders, Roshan Singh, Rajendra Nath Lahiri and Ashfakula Khan. He often used the pseudonym, Balraj, when signing pamphlets issued as the commander-in-chief of the HSRA Hindustan Socialist Republic Army. Biography Early life and career Azad was born as Chandrasekhar Tiwari on 23 July 1906 in Bhavra village, in the present-day Alarajpur district of Madhya Pradesh. His forefathers were from Badarka village near Kanpur in present-day Unnao district. His mother, Jagrani Devi Tiwari, was the third wife of Sitaram Tiwari, whose previous wives had died young. After the birth of their first son, Sukhdev Tiwari, in Badarka, the family moved to Alarajpur state. His mother wanted her son to be a great Sanskrit scholar and persuaded his father to send him to Kashi Vidyapith, Banaras, to study. In December 1921, when Mohandas K. Gandhi launched the non cooperation movement, Chandra Shikhar, then a 15 year old student, joined. As a result, he was arrested. On being produced before a magistrate, he gave his name as Azad, the free, his father's name as Swatantrata, independence, and his residence as jail. From that day he came to be known as Chandra Shikhar Azad among the people. <laughs> Revolutionary life After suspension of the non-cooperation movement in 1922 by Gandhi, Azad became more aggressive. He met a young revolutionary, Manmathnath Gupta, who introduced him to Ram Prasad Bismil who had formed the Hindustan Republican Association HRA, a revolutionary organization. He then became an active member of the HRA and started to collect funds for HRA. Most of the fund collection was through robberies of government property. He also wanted to build a new India based on socialist principles. He was involved in the Kokori train robbery of 1925, in the attempt to blow up the Viceroy of India's train in 1926, and at last the shooting of J.P. Saunders at Lahore in 1928 to avenge the killing of Lala Lajpat Rai. Despite being a member of Congress, Mutilal Nehru regularly gave money in support of Azad. Activities in Jhansi Azad made Jhansi his organization's hub for some time. He used the forest of Orcha, situated 15 kilometres from Jhansi, as a site for shooting practice and, being an expert marksman, he trained other members of his group. He built a hut near to a Hanuman temple on the banks of the Sitar River and lived there under the alias of Pandit Harishankar Brahmachari for a long period. He taught children from the nearby village of Dimarpura now renamed Azadpura by the government of Madhya Pradesh and thus managed to establish good rapport with the local residents. While living in Jhansi, he also learned to drive a car at Bundalkhand Motor Garage in Siddhar Bazaar. Sadashivrao Malkapurkar, Viswanath Vaishampayan and Bhagwan Das Mahaur came in close contact with him and became an integral part of his revolutionary group. The then Congress leaders from Righunath Vinayak Dulakar and Sitaram Bhaskar Bhagwat were also close to Azad. He also stayed for some time in the house of Rudra Narayan Singh at Nai Basti, as well as Bhagwat's house in Nagra. With Bhagat Singh The Hindustan Republican Association HRA was formed by Bismil, Chatterjee, Sachindra Nath Sanyal and Sachindra Nath Bakshi in 1924. In the aftermath of the Kokori train robbery in 1925, the British clamped down on revolutionary activities. Prasad, Ashfakula Khan, Thakur Roshan Singh and Rajendra Nath Lahiri were sentenced to death for their participation. Azad, Kashab Chakravarthi and Murari Sharma evaded capture. 
Chandra Shikhar Azad later reorganized the HRA with the help of revolutionaries like Shio Verma and Mahavir Singh. Azad and Bhagat Singh secretly reorganized the HRA as the HSRA in September 1928. So as to achieve their primary aim of an independent India based on socialist principle. The insight of his revolutionary activities are described by Manmath Nath Gupta, fellow member of HSRA, in his numerous writings. Gupta has also written his biography titled Chandrasekhar Azad, and in his book History of the Indian Revolutionary Movement, English version of above, 1972, he gave a deep insight about the activities of Azad and the ideology of Azad and HSRA. Topic. Death Azad died at Alfred Park in Allahabad on 27 February 1931. The police surrounded him in the park after an unknown informant told them he was there. He was wounded in the process of defending himself and Sukhdev Raj not to be confused with Sukhdev Thapar and killed three policemen and wounded some others. His actions made it possible for Sukhdev Raj to escape. After a long shootout, holding true to his pledge to never be captured alive, he shot himself dead with his last bullet. The Colt pistol of Chandra Shikhar Azad is displayed at the Allahabad Museum. The body was sent to Rasulabad Ghat for cremation without informing general public. As it came to light, people surrounded the park where the incident had taken place. They chanted slogans against the British rule and praised Azad. Topic. Legacy Alfred Park in Allahabad, where Azad died, has been renamed Chandrasekhar Azad Park. Several schools, colleges, roads and other public institutions across India are also named after him. Starting from Manoj Kumar's 1965 film Shahid, many films have featured the character of Azad. Men Mohan played Azad in the 1965 film, Sunny Deal portrayed Azad in the movie 23 March 1931, Shahid, Azad was portrayed by Akhilendra Mishra in The Legend of Bhagat Singh and Raj Zuchi portrayed Azad in Shahid-e-Azam, Azad portrayed Azad in Rashtraputra The film is produced by the iconic Bombay Takis studio which was established in 1934, Rashtraputra released in 26 languages which is a world record itself made by any Bollywood movie. The lives of Azad, Bhagat Singh, Rajguru, Bismil and Ashfaq were depicted in the 2006 film Rang de Basanti, with Amir Khan portraying Azad. The movie, which draws parallels between the lives of young revolutionaries such as Azad and Bhagat Singh, and today's youth, also dwells upon the lack of appreciation among today's Indian youth for the sacrifices made by these men. The 2018 television miniseries Chandrasekhar chronicles the life of Chandrasekhar Azad from his childhood to legendary revolutionary leader. In the series Young Chandrasekhar Aazd was portrayed by Ayan Zubair, Azad in his teens by Dev Joshi and adult Azad by Karen Sharma.